Hey lovelies, it's G here from Golden Thread Tarot, and I wanted to do a little let's chat, okay? So I am technic, I'm not going to pull cards on it, but I do have some cards pulled because I've been doing a little experiment on the channel where I do, um, like I'm trying to do like a little bit of shorter reads by just pulling a couple of cards. And I just got through filming those and I got really inspired by one of those because it was talking about how a lot of us in the collective are going through an awakening process and on that awakening process we are going through the energies of the fool's journey right from the fool which is the first major arcana in the tarot all the way which is the zero card all the way to the 21 card which is the world card right which is signifies the end of uh, that cycle right the fool represents the beginning of that of the of the cycle and the world card represents the ending and closing of that cycle and the beginning of a new one right and in and in this okay i was getting that a lot of us in the collective are in between the hangman which is the 12 card and the star card okay and that we are always being asked to step to not be afraid to step into that full energy because to go right to every next stage of your journey you have to be okay with pushing yourself out of your comfort zones right pushing yourself out of the stage that you have become comfortable or become used to right being okay uh, recognizing this is another this, uh, I filmed two readings so the first reading was really about how about the difference in the types of dis of spiritual discomfort that you can feel right you feel one type of discomfort which is this place this life this choice this this thought process this relationship this friendship group this career it's not for me it's time to make a change, full energy. It's time to go on my next new journey, right? It's time for me to begin my next new cycle. And enlightenment, the road to enlightenment happens through every time we step into that, that fool's journey, right? Every single time we step into that energy, we are enacting the cycle through the major through the energies of the major arcana, right? So right now. All of us, or a lot of people in my collective at least, okay, and the greater spiritual collective right now, and the greater collective just in general, right? We're going through the, the, the journey right now. Those who are choosing to go, who are actively choosing to go through this journey are going through hangman to start energy right now, okay? Let's start with the hangman. The hangman, okay, is the energy that you are putting yourself in a precarious situation, pushing yourself to the limit, okay? This person has chosen to hang themselves up there in the hangman tree, okay? Whether or not it is through their actual active choice or it is through the subconsciously through the choices and thus the interaction that spirit and the experiences spirit is putting them into, right? The, the interactions, excuse me, and the experiences that our choices are bringing about for us puts us in this hangman energy. Sometimes we are asked to pause. Sometimes we are asked to wait. Sometimes, and we are always being asked in this hangman energy to go inside. And that's why this halo, this here is around this person, this man's head in this hangman energy because you are being asked to come to this realization of what is truly in front of you the hangman is also about getting a different perspective on what you're dealing with so that you can come up with a new solution right and what's the perspective that spirit that a lot that a lot of times spirit is pushing you towards death 13 it's time for this to end or it's time for it to be to be reborn something new a transformation of some type has to happen, whether that be within me, whether that be about my exterior, whether that be the places, the things, the people that I interact with, something has to change. And most times it is a transformation both within and without, right? Because when we make that transformation within, it changes what we, what we attract from the outside, what we manifest into our life what we choose to give energy to and thus what we have around us but the death card is always about a rebirth on the other side of it right the dawn right 
the setting sun and the dawning of a new day. This card always represents both. When we go through that, okay, I'm ready to be reborn. I need to put this to rest so that a transformation can happen. Spirit comes out and says, 14, temperance. Things have to be balanced, okay? You patient, dear one. That's what they're saying. Patience, dear one, okay? Because your sun set and here with us, it is dawning anew, right? However, there needs to be harmony. There needs to be balance. There needs to be understanding. There needs to be cleansing. Okay? And what do you need to do when things need to be balanced? This is integration. But what do you have to do to integrate and to realign and to balance yourself? Well, you got to look at the ugly bits. You got to look at the shadow energy that's playing in this, right? You got to look at the karmic energy that's playing in this, as people want to assign, although all of this is karmic energy, okay? You got to look at the, accept, the, the obsessions, the addictions, the codependency, the things chaining you to the way things used to be in the, in the thought processes that you always used to have. The same old people doing the same old things with the same old reactions and the same old attitude. Well, this is the way that I was taught to do it, even if it's dysfunctional. That's this. Well, this is the type of relationships deserve because this is the type of relationships I deserve, excuse me, because these are all the these are all of the types of relationships I've ever had. Well, this is the way my mom and my dad did it, so well, that's what my mom told me about me, so well, that's what my ex said about me, so well, that's just, you know, the no what the no good, very bad life that I've lived so far or day that I've had today has told me about myself. Those internal, those inner inner sabotaging thoughts, those intrusive thoughts, those depression, addictions, codependencies, shadows, anger, pain, guilt, fear, greed, gluttony, sadness, you know, uh, all all of those all of those anger is a big one too. All of those kind of emotions that are that way, and all of those, uh, all of those types of feelings, right? All of those experiences, and, and all those experiences that we have been through that have brought up those lower energies, those lower, those. And I, I hesitate to call them. I hesitate to call them. lower emotions in the sense of the fact that I feel like all of our emotions play a very important role, right? It's just about what emotions we we decide to feed into, right? It's totally normal to have fear, right? But it's about how much you allow your fear to drive you. It's totally normal when somebody does something that you don't like, that you might have an angry reaction, or if they do something that hurts you, or they do something that endangers you, for you to get angry. But it's about what you choose to do with that anger. Do you act on that anger? Or do you choose to do something higher, right? Do you, do you decide to allow that anger to let you know, I don't like this, this isn't right, but I need to handle it in an adult and in a, you know, understanding way. But it is about the fact that if you want the way things used to be to come to an end, you need to accept this part of you that you choose to reject. You need to accept this part of you that you choose to act, pretend like didn't happen or never happened or isn't a part of you or isn't affecting you or isn't that bad as it seems. You're going to have to see how, see how the devil's like, hey, yeah, you're going to have to look at him. You're going to have to face it. And it's not nice. And it's, you know, it can be painful. And this is the stage a lot of people get stuck at. You know, and you can have to do this multiple times about multiple things. Right? This is why people talking about karmics coming back up because it just, you know. 
If there's a light, there's always going to be a shadow. And that just is the way that it is. However, you can empower yourself through integration, right? By telling yourself, by showing yourself, either cut out the things that are unhealthy and unhealthy for you and unhealthy for other people, or realize that this was never a problem to begin with. You were just made to feel shameful about it, or you were just made to feel, uh, to have an issue with it in some type of way. You have some type of trauma, some type of wound around it that you need to heal. And when you come to that realization, what is it? Boom. It's a tower moment. It's a, wow, this is toxic. Wow, this is unhealthy. Wow, I got to stop doing this. Wow, I hit rock bottom. Wow, I got to come to the realization that, that this tower right here, that this situation right here, that these people right here, that this job right here, that this attitude right here is self-destructive. It's unhealthy and I don't need to do it anymore. I don't need to participate anymore. I don't need to give energy to it anymore. It does not need to have power over me the way I have allowed it to have power over me anymore. I need to empower myself and realize that I do have the strength inside of me to face whatever this is. Even if you, even if part of that strength is realizing I'm going to need help, I might need professional help. You might need medical help. Do what you need to do to take care of yourself. Now, I understand that money can be an issue, right? But if the issue is just pride or if the issue is lack of value or lack of self-esteem because of things you have been through in the past, self-sabotaging, you know, uh, tendencies based in fear, it's time to let that tower fall because you went all the way down to the foundations and realized that that tower had cracks all in its foundations that were filled up with this shadow energy. That my beliefs and my thought processes and the way I've been living my life was built this way because it was built on shadow. It's gotta come down. And that's that's God, that spirit, that source, that's your ancestors, whatever, boom, coming in and busting off that crown shocker. And taking those things that used to have power, rearranging power. That's what this is. Rearranging energy. So that what? Star card, you can heal. So that a light will be shown on your shadow. And you will not run from it. You know, you will face it. And you will understand it. You know, and some people, it it helps to see it as a battle. If that helps you, okay. If it doesn't help to, you know, help you to see it as a battle, see as you, see it as you really healing these parts of yourself, right? Really healing these parts of yourself that need love, that need attention, that need understanding. Because most likely, that's how it became a shadow aspect of you to begin with. Is that it wasn't given the attention, the love, the understanding that it needed. So you shoved it down inside and buried it at your foundation. And over time, it's created cracks here. And you can see those cracks in a multitude of ways showing up in your life. And when you go through this process... Right. Part of this process is understanding, wow, when I really start to shine a light on that, when I start to become bare, okay, when I bear myself to myself, look at her looking down in her own reflection. When I draw from these waters and I allow it to really sink and water this, you know, I start to water myself. I start to take care of myself. I start to show up for myself. And all the different ways that we can go into, that we do go into. Check out like pretty much any of my other videos on my channel. <laughs> uh, pretty much all of them have a, a, a thread of love yourself more than to deal with some shit. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> but that's what I was really getting. So 
I just wanted to share that with you guys. I actually have been being kind of guided to, um, and tell me if you guys would be interested in this, of making a much more like detailed and spread out um, reaction to the tarot, like to tarot and to maybe not necessarily how to read tarot, but about how I interpret the energies of tarot and how I've learned to kind of basically like my version of tarot and how my spirit guides talk to me through tarot, right? Because tarot is just a tool, but I'm an, like, I'm an artist at heart, right? So visually going through this stuff, it, you know, the pic, you know, it really speaks to me, which is why I feel like my spirit guides guided me to come to tarot, right? But if you guys would ever be interested in kind of more kind of like videos about me, you know, about how I discovered tarot, uh, what more of my backstory is, why I came about on my, you know, 15, 55 down the clock, how I came about starting this channel and things. You guys, like, let me know in the comment section down below or let me know with a like on the video, okay? Um, also, I wanted to talk about going through the whole entire fool's journey as well as going through all of the energies of all of the suits, right? So going from the one, you know, the ace all the way up to the 10 of every suit as well and making those kind of separate videos and just talking about um, kind of just breaking down the energy that I get from all the cards. If you guys would be interested in that, let me know. I think I, I kind of just want to do it anyway, but uh, let me know, you know, down below with a comment or with a thumbs up or, um, you know, just support on this video. So Thank you guys so very much for your time. I know that this is not like a channeled message or anything. Well, actually it is, you know, but maybe some of you were just kind of needing some clarification that breaking it down this way clarified in a way that some of my other videos haven't. So I, ho uh, I hope that you liked it. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you got what you needed out of the situation. I really enjoyed it. So um, I will see you guys in the next one. All right. Thank you to your spirit guides for guiding you to this message and the algorithm. Okay. <laughs> as well as, um, Thank you to my spirit guides for helping to guide me through this messages. I'm just seeing if there's any last little messages here that the spirit has for me. No. Okay. <laughs> All right, my lovelies. Okay. I will see you in the next one. I hope you got the love letter clarity that you needed out of this. If you want to have a personal reading with me, let me know in the comment section down below. Okay. And well, actually also, um, reach out to me in my email. Sorry. <laughs> I have an email down below in the description box. So reach out to me in my email and we'll get it popping. Okay. Love you guys. And I'll see you later. Bye.